hello guys i am back with another video if you want to see how i achieve this look then uh, then then you're in the right place so let's go so pretty much with all of my tutorials i'm just gonna go ahead and have my brows done again we're going to be using jaclyn hill palette because i just i don't know i love it and i can do so many different looks with it today i'm going to be doing a cut crease inspired by someone so her name is destiny rodriguez her instagram handle is damier i don't know how to say it but this is her page let's see if it zooms in hello there it is so that's the look i just love this so i'm going to kind of do i'm pretty much going to do that exact thing just kind of switch up a couple things i'm using a different palette for one um but yes yeah, so it's inspired by her i would say go check out her page because it's amazing i'm i don't know i just from what i've seen i like it they look so thick on camera oh well whatever i don't even mind thick eyebrows so to start out i always set my eyes with a little bit of setting powder i'm just gonna use the laura mercier um I, there's so much debate on this on whether you should do it or not and if it dulls your colors or not like I do it because it helps me to blend like I feel like my colors don't get so stuck and difficult to blend when I use it so I'm gonna keep doing it but some people say it dulls the colors and they're not as pigmented so just do what works for you honestly like you don't you don't have to be so stressed about this process <laughs> by the way I did that with a morphe m433 brush looks like that so I'm going to start off with that shade there. It's just kind of, I don't know, good transition shade to begin with. Like I said, I tend to pack it on and then I still keep patting to bring it over. I don't know where I learned that from, but that's what I do, I feel like, to get even distribution and then I'll start kind of sweeping like this. This happens every time I go to do this look. So I've been really appreciating lately sharp lines for my cut creases. And I found someone who said they use tape on their eyes, which normally I didn't really like the idea of that. But they basically said if you just take the tape and like stick it on your hand a couple times, just it's it stays sticky enough that it'll stay on your eye, but you don't have to feel like you're like ripping tape off of your face. Boom. What a look. Okay. So I'm going to just keep going with that same transition color. Make sure it's blended out how I like it. I'm going to use the same brush and now go into that kind of vibrant shade. I love this shade. I use it for far too many looks, but I don't know. I just think it's really versatile. Like I said, I always pack it out here on the outer corner and kind of bring it around. Sorry. I haven't done a tutorial in a while, so I'm kind of forgetting how to like talk and do makeup at the same time. I've noticed that when I get kind of to this inner corner, I'm just I'm just saying problems that I've had. Like it'll start like sliding around, I guess. And I kind of avoid that by actually putting the brush straight on cuz here you normally like kind of go like this, but when I'm in this part, I like to just hold it straight on and kind of up and down a little bit I don't know I feel like it helps get the color where I want it rather than getting it like all up here on the side of my nose it, it's not like 100% foolproof I'll probably mess it up at some point but I've noticed that helps at least a little no I just stabbed one of my eyeshadows oh you can see it on my finger No! Look at my eyeshadow! I just stabbed it. Oh, I'm so upset. Oh, damn. So now I'm going to go in with that shade. Um, and using this Mary Kay eye color brush, um, they actually just redid their brush line, which I'm super excited about. But anyway, so this brush, as long as it's something a little bit more dense than the 433, you should be good. A little denser and a little smaller just so that we can be sure that when you pack the color on it stays a little bit closer to your crease I always get scared when I add a darker color I'm like watch out here I go messing up a look now I tend to bring these darker colors up well really all the all the colors up higher than usually recommended um, because when you have hooded eyes or even like monolids or pretty much anything that's considered an inconvenient eye shape um, I'm taking the M433 again to just kind of blend it out 
whenever you have any of those like types of eye shapes you can't really cut the crease where your crease is because then when you open your eye you like look look at where all that went it's gone so <laughs> when you bring the colors up higher then you allow like when you cut the crease with concealer you can kind of invent a crease and so you have to have like these colors up a little bit higher to be able to pull that off I'm hoping that made sense now I'm gonna take this tiny little concealer brush I have from Tarte just any concealer brush will work something that's kind of pretty precise um because we're gonna cut our crease with this we'll see how much of this I can do on camera most of the time I'm like this close to the mirror um attempting to get this done so we'll see but I just take a little bit off the tip um and to start really I just put some right there like on my lid that's pretty much my whole lid but if you can get on the bottom of your lid and then look up and then you see boom it just told you like where you need to cut it now nah, I can't talk now that's that's more or less what you want to do fill it in oh I remember there's another palette I use for this look yes I also use the Morphe 35B palette it is this colorful arrangement um, and I actually use these two colors here this kind of cream one and this orangey it's not orange it's like coral those two colors um, start with this one kind of on the inner corner and blend it into this orange shade coral shade um, kind of on the center of the lid until I blend out to here so let's take I don't know what kind of brush do I want to use for that uh, I've got an elf brush here I forgot which it's like the medium shader I think or, hmm, small shader brush I'm not sure but yeah I'm gonna take that cream shade and press it press it in here to the inner corner it almost looks like it's not doing anything to be honest um, but it does help to blend in the next color so I don't know if you saw but I put a little coral there and then I want to like smooth out the transition so then I just go back in with that cream color to kind of smooth it out a little bit make it less intense and now I'm going in with that coral color kind of out here I'm gonna go back in with the M433 and this lighter shade that middle shade that we used the second one I guess better said go with a little bit of that in here and just kind of blend it blend it onto the lid it's such a look I love this blend I just fell in love with that look when I saw it how does this happen to me how does this happen to me uh, I will be back shortly Now we'll be using the Morphe gel liner. I think it's in the color Slate. And also the Tarte double-ended eyeliner brush. I'm gonna do a wing liner. Oh wait. Oh, that looks really nice. Hmm. Okay. So I will be back shortly um, with this eye done. So like three more things to do to our eyes before we move on um number one i sometimes do this when i'm like putting on my foundation but lately i've been liking to do it like right as i finish is just putting a little bit of concealer um cleaning up that line which is already pretty clean but and then Blend it out a little. It really doesn't matter that it looks so harsh now because once you put on your foundation, it, that, that will be solved. My favorite and least favorite part. <laughs> so this is the Urban Decay Razor Sharp Longwear Liquid Eyeliner. Um, so this is the application tip. Let's see if I can show this to you guys. So it's pretty small, it's pretty easy to use, but I'm just pretty inexperienced myself with liquid eyeliner. 
essentially you just follow that line we'll we'll see i tend to start in the middle actually and then i kind of bring it down lower and bring it out farther but just kind of find a technique that works for you and stick with that Not an awful start right there. Can you guys see that? I don't even know if you guys can see. Oh, guys, I forgot about my lashes. I do this every time. This is the Maybelline The Rocket Volume Express. I don't know. I just discovered this because this girl in my class. Shout out to you, Morgan. She, her eyelashes always look flawless. And this is it. This is her secret, she says. So. I'm like rushing through this now because the sun is about to set and I want to get some bomb photos. So. I've been trying out this Makeup Revolution um, banana powder because Alyssa Ashley has been using it and I always love her makeup but I don't know how I feel about it yet but it, I've only used it a few times so I don't think that's like a fair, I don't think it's fair for me to judge it. I'm running out obviously. I think the worst is when you forget to prime. That's like how you know your day is going downhill. Oh no, I did it again. I got concealer on my contact. Mm. I've noticed actually that this powder like gets a little bit darker instantly, which I feel like I should be annoyed about, but I don't mind because my concealer, like when I highlight, it's actually so light that it kind of brings it back down to a normal highlight. Does that make sense? To finish off my eyes, I'm going to take a smudger brush from e.l.f. and go into this um, same kind of lighter shade. I told myself I wasn't going to take up that much more time in this video, but this highlight is so bomb. This is going in our inner corners. This is going, this is going everywhere, okay? It's so freaking pretty. I kind of got really excited with the highlight and I forgot to bronze. So I'm going to be taking the new, it's not that new anymore, Park Avenue Princess from Tarte. This contouring palette. I've kind of just been using all the shades. I'm favoring this one though, so I'll go in with that. Which, by the way guys, I just picked up some, a couple, not even that many, a couple of the e.l.f. Precise brushes. I don't remember what the line is called, but you know, the new white, the, like the white ones that are like super pretty and lovely and they have like triangle handles. I'm gonna be trying those out soon because they look so good. Okay, you know what? I'm actually gonna use it now. I wasn't going to. This is, I can't remember what it's called. I feel like it's called the airbrush one or something, but I'm, I might be making that up. Um, and I'm gonna use, you guys know, I'm not like the biggest blush fan. I just, I don't know. But I'm trying it out and everybody seems to love Milani's baked blushes. So I'm, uh, I'm trying this out, guys. I've been where I've worn it a couple times. Oh, it's so cute. 
Just the brush, I mean. The blush, I'm still not sure about. I just don't. I do like the color of this blush, actually, but I just see it, like, on my face, and I'm like, you don't belong there. So I'm using the Huda Beauty Liquid Lipstick in the shade Bombshell. Bombshell? Yes. What do you guys think? Because here it is, and I love this look. Um, that's just me. Maybe I'm alone here, but this is a look. Yes. Oh, I love it. So cute. So cute. This eyebrow is off. I know it. It's just... This eyebrow right here, this is like a model. It walks down the runway, it does its thing, it has no problems. This one is also a model, but only when she feels like it and half the time trips and falls on her high heels and it's just a mess. Well, like always, thank you guys for watching, for supporting me. Go check out my Instagram. I might be starting up a Twitter. I just started a, a, a Vero, Vero, whatever that new social media app is. Not really sure how I'm feeling about that yet, but... Anyway, thank you guys for checking out this channel. If you are new and you are not subscribed, then you should be. So get on that. So till next time, bye. Thank you.